I'm Chosen Architect, and this is Dawncraft. So, starting off today, I have some rather large plans. Well, one of the plans is to hopefully go to the Nether and uh, and hopefully uh, you know get some get some good things out of that. And it's also going to increase our difficulty in our world. That's going to be a bit of a problem. Um, and the more exploring we're going to do, the more storage I'm going to need. So, I'm actually extending a room off over to the side and i am going to be using this for mass storage for right now um getting into cloud storage which is in this mod pack uh requires a little bit of uh prep work i think to to go up into the sky um and uh, the cloud storage is a little bit wonky i would say it's literally just adding more chests except you access it from a single chest which is kind of the same as just building a storage room in my opinion and i, I like building more than just having a single chest in one single space. But uh, we'll probably get into cloud storage later on. It could be useful for other things. I just I just haven't figured that out yet. Now I'm about to put the floor together and I, I just love, I absolutely love showing off the trowel every time I get the chance because a lot of people want to build, but they struggle with, well, just like I do, struggle with placing blocks randomly. It is kind of a pain to place blocks randomly. Well, not with the trowel. So I can set some stone brick. I can set some cobblestone and I can mix all of these things together down here, just like this. And I just need to hold the trowel, put the items in my hotbar. And look, it is going to randomize the placements of the blocks. And it doesn't get any easier than this. So now at this point, I am sort of getting the clutter sort of fixed. And uh, that's a that's a must. Uh, this was definitely necessary like a long time ago. And I should have done this a few episodes ago. Now, this is really nice. So I have myself like blocks, which we get a bunch of, bunch of random blocks that aren't wood. Mob drops, we get a ton of. We also find a ton of these and they do not stack. So uh, it's kind of important to have a lot of storage for all of our gems. We're going to be needing these later. And of course, enchanted books, we find a lot of all of the meat materials that we are going to use for cooking. I think this is where most of our cooking materials are going to go. And then, of course, places for armor and gear that we find. All of this is stuff that takes up a lot of space and it's uh, kind of convenient. And then I also set up a mini smelter over here. Uh, I have to manually feed the coal in. Uh, I could, however, break these back here and uh, allow for coal to go back in here, but I don't have enough coal at the moment to really justify that. So I can just put a stack in each one of these. And then as I need to smelt multiple things, I can put them in and it's gonna automatically smelt for me, which is gonna be very handy. Now, before I jump into the nether, I kind of want to prep myself a tad bit. And well, this actually might be the way to do it. See, this boss, you guys have let me know, this boss, believe it or not, which is the uh, the ogre, can be farmed for essence. And well, essence is what we use in order to upgrade our health and upgrade everything else. So I'm thinking before we put this world into hard mode, maybe I should definitely farm this guy i i think i think we definitely should now to activate this i guess we punch it i have actually have no idea okay so keep clicking if you'd like to summon okay so there we go okay so what i want to do is prep myself for this i think this guy is probably going to do some crazy attack Let's see if I can actually fight this guy. Because last time we used a bow. I wonder how quickly we can actually kill him. Because I'm not seeing. Doesn't seem like we take that, that much damage. There we go. We stunned. But my goodness, that takes a long time. Wow. Okay, that was... That was a painful hit. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, is it better to just kill him with the bow? I have no idea. Okay, there he goes. He's he's gone. Uh, so yes, this guy drops essence. Of course, it drops the eye. But you can apparently farm essence from this guy. And you also can farm the orc liver, which is kind of nice. But I wonder how much... I, I at least want to get my endurance up, but... I've seen some farms built that auto kills this guy <laughs> from you guys. And it's kind of hilarious. So I just killed him for the second time. And yeah, this is a pretty decent way of farming him. Just kind of keep an eye out on your armor. 
And it might be something that's better done if I just kill them, at, kill them at range and just stay away from them. So I just tested and with a bow, it only takes about nine shots with at least my bow that I have going on here, which is pretty, pretty nice. So finally, I get one that has a health bar and you can see actually the further I'm away, the more damage it does. And this, of course, is a skilled one. But yeah, this is an easy way to farm this for sure. Super, super easy. Now, I have no idea how long I want to cheese this, but I mean, it is going to be nice to at least get my stamina up. But the, the real benefit of doing this would be to get your hearts maxed out. Uh, if there even is a max, I have no idea what the max is. But the fact that we can farm those quite efficiently with a bow is quite amazing. But what I want to do is I want to get my stamina the rest of the way up. I think I have enough in order to do this. Hello. Let's see. Let's do stamina vessel. There we go. And uh, now we have even more stamina. Oh, wow. It adds an extent another extended outer edge. So, yeah, we can run for quite a while now, even though it does take quite a bit to <laughs> regen all of that stamina. Now, I do want to say this. Uh, I Yeah, you guys definitely voted for the name that we're going to name our Starbuncle. And uh, that's a huge thanks going to Austin Simmons over on YouTube for uh, saying Stellar. Stellar. How cool is that? So uh, that kind of works. Yeah, Starbuncle space themed definitely works. Now, let's see if we can find our Starbuncle. And I wonder if this maintains. So we've named it. And if I dispel... I wonder, will it maintain that when I resummon the familiar? I would assume so, and it does. Ah, oh, yes. So, Stellar, welcome to the party. I love it. It's so good. Now, I know I'm all over the place today, but there's some things that I need to do regarding villagers. And, well, my village is, well, dwindling in population, and uh, I have no more guards in my village. So, I'm sort of looking for guards. You guys have told me that... Well, guards, you can do quests for them and unlock new skills. So I'm kind of walking around and I want to do some things. Ooh, this is a librarian. Hello, adventure. Can you help me with something? What? All right. What is that? Uh, can I have one of your spirit orbs? So you're wanting what from me, sir? Excuse me. That is quite, quite a steep request. But I, you know what? I will, I will give you a spirit orb. I don't have one on me at the moment, but I will be back for you be really cool to be able to get a librarian that'd be nice um oh here's a guard hello adventures require your assistance all right um the pillagers have kidnapped a child from our village oh no please go save him and bring him home the guards are here oh man they're swarmed with patrol duties you you're telling me they can't leave their post even for one minute to go save a child of a village oh all right i guess i will do that uh what does that require of me do I need to kill? Do I need to kill? Hello again? Uh, oh yeah. So, can you give me a piece of paper and I'll mark down the locations of the hideout? E yes. There we go. And... It's probably gonna take a moment. There we go. Here. Please hurry. Okay. So, the, apparently there's a kid. A guard's map. And we're gonna have to complete this quest. And go save this child. Well, what a, what a side quest. All right, well, let's go get a spirit orb. We'll come back and see what the villager is going to want us to do next. And then we're going to go after that child. All right, I think this is the librarian. Do I have the spirit orb? I do now have the spirit orb. There we go. Okay, the structure of this is too complicated. Would you mind giving me another one of these? You're telling me I should have brought both of... Oh, goodness. Hello, sir. I am back. I have a spirit orb or two. Here to have a word with you. Hello. Okay, man, you're too gullible. Don't place your trust in someone you've barely talked to. I'll return the orbs to you. Wait, what? What? Remember, not everyone is nice. Oh, this is nice to me. He gave me a cookie and gave me the one spirit orb back. You swindly fool, you. I, I trusted you. I, you know, I trusted you. How dare that guy? The audacity. Well, he does have another quest. Well, they have quest markers on their head, but I have no idea what that means. <sighs> How dare that guy. Now, currently I'm looking at this map and I'm just wondering, 
Where in the world did this guard send me to? To what am I supposed to do? Because there's no marker on it, no indications. I've just got to go to this place and just hope that well, there's something here. And it seems like it's a it's a little further away than I may have thought initially. Now I'm talking to this guy. He says, "Young man, you want to learn a combat skill? I will accept. I can teach you the skill. Uh, active guard. Just pay me 15 emeralds." Ooh, that is very easy to do. This guy is, uh, I don't know, speaking in bargain right now. There you go. Okay, so we just learned the active guard ability. Okay, so we can block potentially will be removed. When you guard according to the enemy's attacks timing, you'll be able to block ranged attacks. Ooh. So it works with a katana, long sword, and sword, and then the uh, the tachi. I think I'm saying that right. Interesting. Um, so I guess we've learned it. It says unusable. You must learn guard skill first. Oh, so we have to learn the guard ability before we can learn active guard. Okay, so we can't even learn that yet. Interesting. I'm, I'm slowly but surely figuring out what all these villagers really want from me, and I, I am, I am, I'm figuring it out. So apparently this was really close to our actual village, where my home's at. So I'm getting pretty darn close to it. I just don't exactly know what this wants me to even find. Is it just going to be somewhere that's around this entire map? Like, what am I even looking for? Is it this? Oh, I have two star buckles. How does that even happen? <laughs> What? Okay. Uh, maybe it is this area? I have no idea. Oh, is that it over there? Nope, that is a stall. Just a barbarian. Okay, bar- oh, this is- this is just barbarians. But what is this? Is this- is there a baby hidden here? Did you guys steal a baby? Please tell me you did not. I'm going to have to take it from you with force. With force. If so. Hello. Correct. Hmm. Don't see any baby villagers anywhere. Don't see any. I will say I fear the worst for this child is... Well, it's not... Not giving me any direction. <laughs> it's where I'm supposed to go. Oh, and there's nothing. There's nothing around. Except for old dilapidated buildings that, believe it or not, I've already looted. Hmm. Well, as you can see, that's not going to happen. Oh, how unfortunate. Well, time to head back to our base village. Ah, goodness. Maybe from the other village, I'll be able to potentially get that guard first. I'm going to go wander around the village that's next to this one. And let's see if there's any quests that they're prompting. Hopefully not one that's an, an impossible mission. After looking around the area, the only person I found was, well... Look, oh, this guy. Nope. Yep, the only person I found was a mason that was wanting me to find a lunar stone from the Ever Dawn dimension. Hmm. But as of right now, I don't think the Ever Dawn is somewhere where I want to be. It's almost like completely restarting going to that dimension. Oh, here's a group of fellas. Here's a forester. Can you help me get a new axe toolsmith? I'll pay you back, I promise. So this might be promising, so we need an iron axe for this guy. And this is a netherologist? <laughs> I love that. I love it. Uh, so we need an iron axe for that fool. Hmm. All right. Which one was it again? It was a forester, right? Hello. And there we go. Here are f is four emeralds enough. You gave me one emerald. <laughs> one emerald, sir. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Uh, these, these guys just swindle, swindle, swindle. That's all they do. Apparently, though, I can give this guy some emeralds for something. I have no idea what it's unlocking. So, oh, it doesn't even tell me. <laughs> it just says quest completed. Okay. Uh, well, back to, back to the base. I, I, it is then. Now, I know today's video has been all over the place as I've been kind of prepping myself and putting off, honestly, honestly, sort of putting putting off going to the nether but we are going to go to the nether but first i've got to repair my gear which means i've got to do some diamond harvesting and well 
back on the grind of mining diamond, but thank God I don't have to do it entirely manual. Ah, that is one good thing about the create mod. So it's at this time I have made the decision that I'm going to the nether. And well, me doing this is going to unlock this so-called hard mode. Now, I don't know what that means entirely. Uh, is that going to invoke the wrath of some sort of entities that are going to try and destroy our base? I have no idea, honestly. It just sounded pretty bad. Maybe mobs are just going to be a little bit tougher to fight. Maybe we'll have more bosses that end up spawning. I have no idea. But the only way to find out is by actually going. And so I have set up another portal. And it is this, this point that, uh, well, we are going to dive in. I have some building blocks. And uh, I have some waystones. And you can hear by the tone of my voice, I am a bit worried as to what is going to happen. Oh, I have the swords. So let's go in and see what the nether has in store for us. Oh boy, and hopefully we get an okay spawn. You just never know where you're going to spawn. The ancient spirits of light and dark have been released. That sounds horrifying. But here we are, we spawned on top of a nether wart tree. We are in a pretty dangerous biome. I will say I would have preferred to spawn in the warped biome instead of a crimson biome. But this will be fine for now. We just have to prep our portal uh, for gas attacks. So I am going to try my best to wrap this in some sort of fortressy style. Oh man. And then we can start exploring and hopefully find ourselves a fortress. Unless that's a fortress right there. I don't know what that is. It's definitely not a fortress. Oh, I already hear horrifying noises. It is, it, yeah. This sounds scary. And, it, you know, I, I should be scared, honestly. I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. Now, I almost forgot one thing. I am going to have to head back because we are going to have to have at least one piece of gold armor when we encounter foes like, well, the ones that are down here. Yeah. I feel like for the most part, having myself some gold on me should make me a little bit better i think even wearing a gold backpack would work but we now have a diamond backpack so yeah i kind of gave myself the l on that one but i do need to mark where my base is at um so right in here we can definitely set up oh god i don't like that sound oh there's a lot of bad bad sounds happening right now I need to be able to get back to our base and that barely worked. Okay. Whew. And set a marker for our portal. All right. So right on us, we'll set a marker and we'll call this our portal. Because God forbid we lose this thing. We would be in some major, major trouble. Now I'm hoping the nether is not incredibly bad. What are you? I don't know, nor do I want to know. I'm going to go ahead and just kill them. Okay, so a couple of shots seem to do the trick. Yeah, that looks horrifying. Okay, thank goodness they just melt. All right, let's see what this is. This is some sort of building. Ah, there's a guy up there. The spores are down here too? Oh, man. All right. Those were the days. The lava looks like it's pouring through. Is this like a village? Oh, and there's gold. Oh, nice. Gold gear with some decent, semi-decent stats. Oh, magma cream right off the bat. Oh, I'm really hoping we get blaze. That's the whole reason I want to be here is for the blaze rods. Holy smokes, the sounds alone. There's a hoglin pin. I'm so nervous. This is like a piglin encampment. Is, is this guy mad at me? Okay, I, I'm curious. Oh, no, no, I have gold. I have nuggets. I have nuggies for you. Okay. 
Will you trade or are you trying to kill me? All right, I do have, I have gold ingots. And I would love to trade some gold with you guys. Hello. Take all of that, if you would. Be, oh. Yep, 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 no, no. They want to attack me, but I'm in gold, so I don't understand why they would want to attack me. That's kind of unfortunate. I don't know what that guy was just doing, but apparently was checking it all out. The name tags get really large for some reason when you get really close. Huh, was that, was that nice for you? I'm going to keep trading. Maybe I'll get something good. So far, so good. I just got myself a three minute fire resist potion from this guy. I'm going to keep trading because these are the things you definitely want to get right away. So overall, this is pretty cool. Okay, so we have crimson fungus. That's all laid here. Ooh, warped fungus, soul sand. We need to find ourselves nether warts and get, then definitely get ourselves uh, started with potions. Uh, we also are going to need blaze rods. So finding blazes, hopefully it's not all that difficult to find. But I'm going to continue to loot, <laughs> loot this guy, these guys' village here and see what all I can find. Definitely a lot of gold, which I am loving. Oh, it's so good. Hopefully we find some better loot. Oh, wow. So once we get our first piece of netherite, this gear is going to start becoming really powerful. So we just found our first epic. And that is going to be really useful because we can actually break these weapons and tools down. So all of these are definitely worth nabbing. Oh, this is going to be so good. And now that we're in the nether, we should easily be able to traverse down all the way underground and hopefully be able to find some ancient debris and get into that Oh, this whole game is about to open up. I would have to, I would definitely say. Oh yeah, all of this gear, look at all this. Uh, so I just left this area and oh my gosh. No, let me away. The poison, why? Why is the poison so bad? What in the world? That guy poisons for so long. So, so long, okay. I'm definitely going to need an effect that removes poison. Oh my. So this should do the trick. A self and dispel should be able to remove any effects that we are facing. Oh my gosh. And yeah, that guy down there is the problem. Holy smokes. That caused some problems. Okay, thankfully not too crazy to defeat. Whew. My goodness. Now these creatures do cause some problems. They have some sort of bad, I don't know, projectile effect. So I want to stay as clear from those as possible. Now I do have the ability to navigate around quite easy with my spells and this levitation, but my goodness, it is still quite scary. I think what I should do now is try my best to get down underground and try to get to that Y level 15, 14, where we can start mining for uh, ancient debris. So I'm down now right about the right Y level, and this should be the place to be, definitely. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the same method. Now, I don't know if this is actually going to break the, uh, the ancient debris. I guess I will find out. Um, I don't know if it's going to break and drop it. Now, diamond, this just ends up destroying diamond, but I can usually find it along the edges. This will be a little bit bad if I go to find it um, with this method and it just actually breaks everything. I'd, I'd prefer that not to happen. Um, so let's get our contraption and let's test this bad boy out. I'm actually pretty excited to see what this does. And I do expect uh, there to be lava potentially as well that ends up forming because of this. But this should clear out a nice area and it does break ancient debris. So this is perfect. We've already found our first ancient debris. How awesome is that? Yeah, this is going to be fantastic. And hopefully we'll be able to get ourselves some nice netherite gear going pretty quick along with all of our customizations. So after a ton of mining here, uh, doing it by hand would, would be a nightmare, uh, especially without the mending enchant. Um, but as you can see right here, 
tons and tons of stuff. I'm going to go ahead and toss all this stuff in the lava for the most part. The 25 ancient debris should be enough to get us at least sort of started. Oh my god, I'm out of here. Uh, what the heck is this? What in the world are you? You are out of here, though. Holy smokes. Did you see what that thing spawned? It was a giant skeleton. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Yep. Um, even with light, a lot of things still spawn, as you can see. Even with all the tunnels, for the most part, lit up. This is still dangerous down here. So now that I'm back, now's the time to put this to good use. My goodness. And we're going to have just about seven because I already had these netherite scales from a, uh, was it like a, it was a blacksmith sort of village, like a small little village building. And thankfully up top, it had that, that we ended up getting during a stream. But, uh, as of right now, this is going to be our primary source of netherite. And this is going to be huge though. So, and just like that, we can make netherite ingots and that's seven netherite ingots right there. That is pretty awesome. Uh, of course, one of the first things that I want to do with this is I want to combine this with an enchanting table. I believe this is what we need. Yes. So we need two gem dust, an enchanting table, and nether brick in order to make ourselves a reforging table. And this is going to be incredibly important. Now let's make these two incredibly powerful tables. So this is one. This is the salvaging table, which will break down the fixes that are on our material, on, on our gear. So, so those gears that are like blue and green and purple, this is gonna allow us to break those down. Now, the next thing is the reforging table. And this is also incredibly important. So this is gonna take gem dust, which is the stuff we just use to craft these tables, which we get from dropping an anvil on gems. And then we also get the material, like the rarity materials. Those come from salvaging here. And this is where things are going to get a little bit interesting. Um, so we do have a lot of gear that we should be able to break down and reforge. So I'm putting them right over here. And as far as gear goes, for example, we have all of this gear. Um, now, some of this, for example, this says aquatic. I don't think there's anything. Okay, so it just has these regular parts that you can see right here on off of this gear. Um, so we can go ahead and salvage that and we get the common stuff. We're not really after common so much, but we are after... Uh, epic, for example, we just got a bunch of epic gear. Um, so I definitely want to take the stuff off of this epic and I want to use this because we're not going to be using gold gear. Like that's just probably not going to happen. Um, so what I should be able to do is take this and I can put a bunch of these in here and we have a chance of getting zero to three of the arcane sands, which is going to allow us to reforge a weapon potentially. And how do those two we only got one. I don't know if it's better to do one at a time or two at a time, but uh, we unfortunately only got one. To reforge our gear, though, this is where we will take our actual weapon and we can put it in here. And we're also going to need gem dust that we get from dropping an anvil on our gems. Um, and if we take a look, we can see that it's going to be two, four or six. And that is talking about the arcane sands. And then you also need to be at this particular level for whatever you're planning on doing as far as your actual level goes. And then it's going to cost a couple of the arcane uh, or it's going to cost some of, some of the dust as well. So this is all a part of apotheosis and is quite fantastic, I think. And should, so long as we loot enough stuff, hopefully we can build our own gear. That is if we don't find gear that is just obviously just crazy overpowered. Now with that, it is time today to thank the supporter of today's video. And that is going to be a huge thanks going out to Aruma. Kun, I think that is correct. Over on the Discord, becoming a Discord Premium member and supporting me in one of the best ways possible. Guys, if you're looking to join the Discord, all you gotta do is go to discord.gg forward slash chosen architect and join me there. Now, while you're in the process of doing that, you might as well click that subscribe button here on YouTube if you haven't already. We're getting very, very close to the 600,000 subscriber mark and I can't do it without you guys. Also, give this video a huge thumbs up. Comment down below what you enjoyed the most and what I should do in the nether. What should I find in the nether? Ah, man, maybe you guys know more than me. But anyways, guys, I hope to see you in the next one. And as always, thanks for watching. Man, I don't know how in the world this block game could be so spooky, but... Ooh, this one definitely got me today.